Today we're going to be looking at a pair of 99 Legacy JDM headlights that we've got in the shop today. We've just pulled this one apart and we're going to be performing a projector swap as well as a custom high beam swap in these headlights. So we've got our original projector here with its own adjusters and pivot point. The high beam is an H1 halogen. It also has its own separate adjusters for aim and we're going to utilize both of those. First up, we're going to pop these out of the housing, and we need to get the adjusters all the way unscrewed. So here's our factory low beam projector. We're going to be replacing this with the Morimoto MLED 2.0. And here's our factory halogen high beam reflector. So here's our low beam projector and the MLED 2.0. We're going to be replacing this using a custom bracket that we've designed. For our high beam, we have the factory reflector. We're going to be placing a Dynamics SSC2 driving pod in this place as an auxiliary high beam. It's about the perfect shape and size, and we've got a custom bracket to accomplish this as well. We'll need to remove the factory mounts for the adjuster rods and pivot point out of the original projector. Now we'll reinstall this hardware onto our custom bracket. Now with our adjustment hardware installed, we can put the projector on the bracket. Now we're using some tall spacers here. This is to make sure that the MLED lens reaches about the same point in the headlight that the factory lens would have, so it doesn't look too recessed in the housing. Now that we have our projector installed on the bracket, it's time to reattach it to the factory adjustments. Now our projector is completely installed, retaining the factory adjustment and positioning. Let's move on to the high beam. Much like with the stock low beam, we have a custom design and made bracket that's going to help us attach a new light inside the high beam area while retaining the factory adjustment. Now that the pod's installed in the bracket, we need the factory adjusting equipment. As we can see, our replacement bracket has been designed to replicate the dimensions of the original uh, high beam, and the SSC2 is a great dimensional fit, and it's very shallow, which makes it great for this spot. Now with both brackets fully installed, we can see the low beam and high beam fit exactly where they're supposed to be. This bezel will be getting painted black as well for the final build, but overall it's a super clean fit. The upgrade is a huge performance uplift over the factory lights, and the uh, projectors and the SSC2s really fit perfectly into this shape and layout of the housing. In addition to the performance upgrade, we still retain all four factory adjustment points so the aim can be perfectly dialed in. Well, that about does it for this quick look at our custom brackets for the Legacy JDM headlights for both the low beam, this bracket uses a G5 pattern so many projectors will be compatible, and our custom SSC2 high beam conversion. Thank you for watching.